change your thinking. Everyone thinks the same. Everyone talks about world class, sport all the time. Very, very few people talk about world changing. If your business is essentially about talent, then you really start to think about how I build systems, structures, how I recruit, how I replenish talent, and how I get the most out of them. Sometimes the disruptors, the best teams, recalibrate success when they're at the top. And you are at the top. You as a business now are at the top of your game. As I said to you before, the biggest challenge is staying there. And that is not the organization's problem, it's your problem individually, as a team, and as an organization. We live in a talent economy, we live in a data economy. What was extraordinary yesterday is ordinary today. So the first thing is, if you profile the past to look at the future, it's very dangerous. And I'll give you one example. If you looked at in Champions League football, you watched it there. If you profile 10, 12 years ago, like I did, what is the characteristics, what is the profile of a high-performing team and individuals in there? That team would probably look like German, okay, Bayern Munich maybe. They would be six foot two, six foot three, very big, very lean machines, okay? If you look at the last five to seven years in that same sport, in that same competition, the number one team, it's hard to argue, even for a man like me, would be FC Barcelona. Okay? Hard to argue. Success on every metrics, the way they play, the way the team is, the success they've had on the pitch. Hard to argue. The top 36 leagues in football, there is 13,000 players and there is 534 teams. The smallest average height team Lowest body weight team is who? Statistically. FC Barcelona. So here we have a model of success that everyone is trying to profile. A team comes along that's completely different, has even greater success in the same marketplace in the same moment. Have you got a learning culture? All great organizations have a learning culture. Why? Because there is no finish line. You're number one, but then how do you go beyond number one? Number one in your market, maybe are you number one in your continent? Number one sports team or soccer team, can you be the number one sports team? Can you be the number one high performance team across all sectors? For many years I recruited some of the best talent in the world, around about $800 million worth of talent, purchasing price of talent. And initially, my objective was always to go out and find what I thought was the best talent. And then the further I went up the, to the top teams, I realized there was very few players that could really make a difference. And secondly, there was very few players that could fit the culture that we had. And this is the strange thing that until you get to the top of any business or any sport, the more successful you are, the stronger your culture is, the less people fit it. Okay? The stronger your team is, the stronger your culture will be, the less people will fit it. Going to any core business, going to any highly performing team, they do four or five things maximum better than anyone else. And they execute on that. Whether you are Frank Lampard taking free kicks, or LeBron James taking baskets, or Eli Manning or Tom Brady throwing touchdowns, they do very, very simple things and they execute very, very well. So when you're building your teams, when you're building your qualities as an individual, Focus on them five things. Trustworthy, do I energize people? Have I got energy? Do I have an edge to what I do? And do I execute? That is what will drive high performance. Everyone talks about world class. No one talks about world changing. Be that business that does that.